G'day, this is the Good Oil presented by Daly's Ozark Fly Fisher, and I'm Steve Daly. A lot of beginners, even some quite experienced fly fishers, have issues moving from place to place, particularly when your leaders are long. In this instance, we've got a, uh, a nine, foot, nine foot leader here with three feet of tippet. And look, if I go and carry this, I'm going to pull that fly line way up into the rod. So how do we do this, not get tangled up in the grass and keep everything nice and tidy? Well, there's a simple way. It's a really simple trick. First of all, grab your fly. Um, you can do this with two flies or one. You're going to grab the fly that's right at the end of your leader, furthest away from the fly line, and reach forward. At the same time, you notice me pushing my arm back just so I can get a little further, and I'll hook it into the guide I can reach pretty comfortably furthest away. Then I'm going to keep control of this leader. I'm right-handed so the, ro the rod handle stays in my right hand and I'm just going to pull, I'm actually pulling that fly line out because I need a little more. Now at this point I'm going to turn the reel on its side, horizontal, and I'm going to wrap that line right around the reel seat. And so it comes from the fly around the left side and goes back to the fly line around the right. And you can see I've actually got a little too much bend in here. It's a little too much tension in there. So I'll take it out, just adjust it. And this way you can walk around, you can carry this, everything's nice and tidy, right? You can see everything's tidy, you can get shaped. It's all good. Easy way to lay it in the boat. So one thing you don't want to do and you see a lot of people do, is hook their line vertically, right? So it's up and down this plane, particularly on the side where the spool comes on and off, because you can see, if you can see there, there's a little groove, and there's a gap between the frame and the spool, and thin tippet can drop down in there. That's why I like coming to this side and having it wrapped around the base of the reel seat horizontally. If you're right-handed, fly is always on the left side, if you're lefty, have the fly on the right side. You'll be all good. The even better part is when you get to where you're going. Pick up your rod out of the tray, you've got it in your right hand, slide your fingers underneath the tippet and grab with your left hand the piece that goes to the fly. Okay, Pull it out from the reel. You might even need to pull a little bit of extra line off and you're going to, you're going, I had one loop across the top of the rod. Um, you see, just flipped over, and I was bouncing this around quite a bit. So everything's tidy, and I've managed to just pull that away from the reel, let it fall, so it's falling vertically from that fly. I give it a little tap, and we're done. Okay, now I can go straight into that cast because I've already got fly line out of the tip. Nice and simple. Let's just see that once again, nice and fast. Grab the fly by the pointy end, reach forward, hook it in the eye, furthest away, come back, around the left side of the reel, done. Like a dog's dinner.